What do you know of how you ended up in that orphanage? All I know is my mum was an alcoholic and then she gave me up. I have a sister maybe, yeah. It's scary, nerve-wracking, finding whether I'll find anyone at all, you know? I imagine for some adoptive parents, it's a bit scary when their adopted children want to reach out and find where they came from. Yes, it would be. Is it for you? No, not really, no. I think she's smart enough to know when she's well off. <laughs> I know she's smart enough to know when she's well off. People say expect the worst, hope for the best. You know, so that's just what I'm doing. Although I don't want to think too much of not finding anyone because it would just make me depressed and I don't want to, you know, do that. I'm just taking it step by step, day by day, yeah. Not thinking too much too soon, you know, because it is very overwhelming. I think the risk would be worth taking, just to get some closure. passport which I don't I have my old one which when I came over here but that's expired she doesn't have Russian passport so the process is uh, to verify her Russian passport first and then apply for it once it's been verified so it can take somewhere between one month to a year and it's just work in progress at the moment we're just waiting on that I was placed in an orphanage for the first two years of my life and I was adopted out when I was two years old, which is when I came to New Zealand. In 2013, I wanted to go and do a search for my birth parents. I was 21 then. Hello. I found my birth mother first and then I found my birth father. Have you yet? Hello. <laughs> It was overwhelming, you know, surprising. It was exciting at the same time because now I actually know How you going? the blood side of my, of my family. I know who they are, I know what they look like. So you've got a really good sense of what's ahead for Emma. I know it's going to be a, a, like a, a sense of closure for her. It was, it'll feel like the mystery's been solved, um, but you can never answer the exactly what it will be like, because it's different for every person adopted, searching for their birth parents. You've now set up imadopted.org to help people in exactly that situation. What have you found out so far for Emma? When I started searching um, for any information on Emma's birth parents, I managed to find her birth mother's name. When I found the name, or found even some phone numbers that were, you know, might have been linked up to her birth mother, I didn't want to say anything yet until, you know, we actually make that phone call to to those people. Should they do it? Yeah, you can um, dial it. It's ringing. Hello, good morning, здравствуйте. Hello. I came to New Zealand when I was, I was 16 in 2006 from St. Petersburg. I just wanted something else for myself. So I left for New Zealand just to study here. Uh, Ekaterina Finenko. No, he doesn't know who she is. There might not be anybody out there when you're trying to search. They, you know, your birth family might not be alive anymore or your birth parents might not want anything to do with you. Um, you got to be prepared for anything that's thrown at you. Of course it's disappointing, you know. It is disappointing, yeah. It is very disappointing. I was given some phone numbers actually that were potentially some links to Emma's birth mother, um, Galena. So we sat down, I had Skype, I had my computer, and I thought, right, let's, let's start dialing these numbers. Let's, we have no time to waste. We need to see if we can find any information. It's asking to leave a message. It's offline. So it's offline, probably. Yes, we tried another number and it just went to a voicemail. So we had no luck with the second number. I'm not leaving here without any answers. I'll be, I'll be try, I'll be trying. None of those phone numbers really helped. And that was, to me, I felt a little bit disappointed, actually. Uh, 
Доброе утро. Мне хотелось бы узнать, а, у вас отделение... Такие фамилии у нас точно нету. Такие фамилии нету. Хорошо, спасибо. Галина Финенко has never worked, or no one by that surname has worked at the factory. So that was when pretty much all my phone numbers were pretty much done on the list. So I didn't know what what to really do next. I just felt that we needed to keep trying and keep pushing. Should we call that orphanage? Elias suggested that why don't we call up her orphanage? Why don't we call them and see if they know anything? So that's what we did. Hello? Uh, Hello? Утро. So when Hello? we called the orphanage and um, I got to speak to to a lady. Okay, so we've got Very something. Good. I've spoken to someone yeah. who knows Emma. She knew who Emma was and she was really excited to know that Emma was doing well. So she's been um, in this orphanage for 33 years. Yes, the lady there remembered Emma when she was there all those years ago. Basically, what we need to do for legal reasons, we have to um, send them an email. I thought this is a great step. We might be able to actually get some names of her birth parents. They should get back to us within an hour. She said she was going to go to archives now and pull up all the information they have in archives. I felt a bit of a sense of a relief um, inside because I thought, right, we're actually finally getting somewhere. She has to sign it though. She has to sign it so we can just call her and we can scan it to her. I understand. Yeah. Okay. I'm going to downplay this really to Emma because, you know, while it's exciting that we've just heard from this woman who's worked in that orphanage for 33 years, we might not find out anything more. So I don't want us to get too excited just yet. Hi, it's Emma here. Sorry I can't get to the phone right now. If you give your name and number, I'll get back to you. Thanks. Bye. Tone, record your message. Hi Emma, it's Paula speaking. I'm sorry I'm ringing so late at night, but if you're still awake, do you reckon you could give me a quick call back? Because there's something I want to quickly run by you. Okay, thanks Emma. Bye. So I'm going to try and get hold of Emma's father instead. Hi Terry, how are you? Hey, good, thank you. It's um, Paula. Are you there, Emma? Yeah, I'm here. Hi, darling. I'm so sorry to wake you up. We rang your orphanage. Yes. The woman who answered the phone has been there for a long time, 33 years, and she remembers you. Wow. Really? <laughs> yeah. What? Which is amazing. And she has offered to um, go and get the archives out straight away. But in order to do that, she needs your permission, Emma? Yeah. So how would you feel about that if she goes to get out the archives um, yes, to see if she can... I'd like that. You'd like that? We might not find out anything more than we already know, but That's I think step, it so. would be good to give it a go. It might be a further step. Yeah, for sure. Thank you very much. Thank you both very much. Sleep well. Okay. I'm sorry to wake you. It's OK. OK, good news. Thank you very much. You're Paula. welcome. Good night, guys. Okay, See you tomorrow. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. This is the hardest person I've ever tried to get through to. So we found all these profiles now. So VK is called In Contact. It stands for In Contact in, in the Russian language. And it's the biggest, you know, social network in Russia. They use Facebook as well, but VK is used more. We found a profile, by the way. So while um, we're getting all these forms done for the orphanage and you know, we were just writing out these letters and just saying we want to get this information through to the orphanage. Um, I decided to search on BK, just give it another go. There was someone had left a message on the on the wall of this profile. I was um, starting to get a little bit excited. Everyone was a little bit, you know, calm and waiting for this letter to be sent through. So I went on to a, in a profile that was already online that was friends with this woman who was Yulia. And I said, this girl called Emma in New Zealand is trying to look for her birth family and her mother, I, I believe, is Kalina. And this woman said, yes, yes, um, 
this woman, Yulia, is trying to look for her sister. And she said, here's the phone number. Call up Yulia as soon as you can. We have her number. Yeah. So let's give her a call. Okay. Hello. Hello. Yulia, добрый день. Здравствуйте. Меня зовут Илья. Александр? Меня зовут Илья. Привет. Александр рядом со мной, но он не говорит по-русски. And um, it turns out it's Emma's sister. She is her biological sister. And she she's Great. really keen to be in touch with Emma. Awesome. And she just got really upset and overwhelmed and excited and quite emotional. Mm -hmm. She was really excited to hear from me. Um, she was also looking for Emma, but she got no way with her search. Um, so she just um, stopped trying. Мы поздравляю вас с днем рождения. А вам сколько сейчас исполнилось? Спасибо. Двадцать двадцать семь. Это был очень особенный день для нее, Да, это ее день рождения. Итак, вопрос, что касается матери. Матери, она за бар, она в тюрьме. Я также спросил о матери Эммы, и она сказала, что она продолжает связаться с ее матерью, и что она была в тюрьме в то время, чтобы обмануть. She tell you anything about Emma's father? She did say that he is likely to be somewhere um, in the eastern part of Russia. She was always into tears and she always put me into tears as well. <laughs> so, it's so weird. Yeah, yeah. Uh, it was quite overwhelming. <laughs> I, I like helping people, you know, searching for their birth families. That's that's what I'm all about. So, you found a family. You found a family. Yeah. Nice work. Congrats, mate.